Hello dear students, you are welcome in literature simply, simple way to learn literature and language. Dear students, in the previous video, we talked about John Dryden and his contribution to literature. Dear students, in this video, we are going to talk about restoration writers, some restoration writers. And as you see that we have uh, changed our mode of explanation or our mode of uh, teaching. So today I am going to use this whiteboard and please comment me below what you think about this new method now i'm going to use this whiteboard uh, for a few coming videos so please uh, tell your opinion about this new method so dear students in this video we are going to talk about restoration writers and there are some restoration writers like butler hobbes Locke, evelyn and Pepys. and i will explain to you the contribution of all these uh, writers to restoration period as we are talking about a restoration age or the period of restoration different types of events already have happened in this restoration period and what those events have impact on literature is uh, we are just analyzing or checking through these videos on restoration period so here very first uh, contributor to literature in restoration period we have samuel butler and the lifespan of Samuel Butler ranges right from 1612 to 1680. And it is important students to understand the very period of restoration and uh, the writers who are significant in restoration period. So here you can see that Samuel Butler generally is considered as an obscure figure in English literature. Why? Because we do not know much about samuel butler there is scarcity of information regarding samuel butler and hence he becomes an obscure figure in literature and if you go uh, to the literature of samuel butler you will find he composed a very significant burlesque in english literature it is one of the best burlesque he composed called hudibras and uh, if you again uh, get some information about samuel butler you will understand that samuel butler's life devoted completely to literature and his hard work earned him the reputation in literature so generally he devoted life to literature and he was a hard worker in early restoration period we found that uh, there is a lot of literature in the form of doggerel verses or burlesque these two forms or these forms are flourished in english literature in the early restoration and in the same flow we have samuel butler's hudibras composed in 1663 actually he composed this work uh, many years before uh, this 1663 but he did not publish it and he did not make it public he made it public in 1663 and it has become a very popular work in those days at that time and he earned reputation through this hudibras now dear students this hudibras is based directly on don quixote it is a spanish novel of cervantes now what is this burlesque if you think about this burlesque burlesque is nothing but the mimicry you can uh, say in simple words of some other words here you can see serious subject is treated as a general subject or a general or common subject is treated as serious so both kind of things you will find in this burlesque and this hudibras is one of the most important or you can say that it is the best burlesque in that period of restoration and it is modeled upon don quixote a spanish novel now uh, the very pronunciation of this word uh, just pay attention uh, though the spelling is q u i x o t e here the sound is pronounced as her don quixote so you can say it as don quixote it is a spanish novel of Cervantes. Now, what is there in this burlesque of Hudibras? You can uh, find there is uh, he directly or mercilessly ridicules the parties like Puritans, Presbyterians, and Independents in the Restoration period. 
एंड इट हैज बिकम सो फेमस दैट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड पार्ट इज पब्लिश इन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर एंड सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी एट रिस्पेक्टिवली सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस ह्यूडी ब्रास विच इज मॉडल ऑन डॉन की होटे एंड इट इज सेट दैट द किंग हिमसेल्फ कैरिड अ कॉपी इन हिज पॉकेट एंड मेनी टाइम्स ही रिसाइटेड सम पैसेजेस फ्रॉम दैट पॉकेट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड दैट द कॉटियर्स इन द कोर्ट ऑफ किंग ऑल्सो हैव स्क्यूरलेस पैसेजेस फॉर देअर रिसाइटेशन एंड दे एक्सचेंज दिस स्क्यूरलेस पैसेजेस अमंग द अदर कोर्टियर्स सो यू कैन सी the significance of this hudie brass how it has made popular samuel butler so this is first uh, figure in restoration period uh, samuel butler so now dear students we have second figure in restoration period that is thomas hobbs and the life span is 1588 to 1679 now dear students if you look at thomas hobbs you will understand basically he is a philosopher and we have his only work by which he became so famous in england and the name of that work is leviathan or the matter of form and power of a commonwealth you can see and you will understand in this particular book in this philosophical work it is also a philosophical work but we have included it in literature because at that time there was no a very strict distinction or the strict uh, department between literature and other forms like philosophy you see that this book we have included in the literature now dear students he talks about two principles in this philosophical book and the first principle is all power originates in people second object of all government is common good now you will understand with these two principles and it is highly held that uh, the very thomas hobbes philosophy is the basis of english philosophy you can uh, uh, if you read thomas hobbes this book leviathan or the matter form and power of commonwealth you will understand how he talks about different kinds of things and uh, hobbes is basically studied as a philosopher and still today if you uh, know about thomas hobbes you will understand he is studied in uh, america and there is special interest of american students american uh, scholars uh, in thomas hobbes regarding his views on politics because his views on politics are of both sides he talks about the good side of uh, government and people he also talks about how government can become uh, a very Uh, serious kind of hurdle in the development of people in itself so this is also important uh, regarding thomas hobbes and hence uh, scholar show interest in thomas hobbes so this is a second restoration writer thomas hobbes though he is a philosopher we are talking about him as a literary person now let's move to the next number 3 john locke and the period is 1632 to 17 Zero four. Now again, John Locke also is a philosopher, and he composed essay concerning human understanding. This essay is very important, or this work as a philosophical work is important in English literature because we find that this book later became the basis of English philosophy, and many scholars consider this book very important for the study of human mind and origin of ideas. basically lock talks about the human mind how human mind works now you see that there is a scientific part of biology or the development of human mind different sides of human mind and again he thinks that how ideas are originated in human mind is explained at some extent in this essay concerning human understanding so he basically talks about human understanding of different things around the world around the surrounding around that person uh, yeah, basically again this has become the basis of english philosophy and still this work is studied in many universities that is the significance of john locke's contribution to literature or contribution to philosophy next uh, we have number 4 john evelyn again an important diarist he is basically a diarist and the time spans from 1620 to 17 not 6 you can understand basically he is held as a, a diary writer 
and we have his two major books the very first is silva it is first book on trees and forestry in english now look at the variety of literature they composed it is in the form of diaries because he is a diarist and he composed the daily routine of his or whatever happens around him he just go to home and uh, in the evening or in the night he writes down in his diary and then uh, he published all these diaries and became very famous in english literature we have silva first book on trees and forestry in english second we have terra it is an attempt at scientific study of agriculture so this is also is considered one of the first books scientific books on the study of agriculture so this is terra and silva both books are important in english literature and hence we have taken here john evelyn though he is a diarist but his contribution to literature is important so this is the fourth and now we have last writer in this series the last writer also is a diarist so let's understand so samuel pepys and the lifespan is 1633 to 17 not 3 now dear students he was a clerk in government office and he observed uh, many things around him whatever happens he also is a diarist as i have already uh, told you so he pinned everything whatever he saw in his office at his home around him many things he wrote in his diary and hence we got the diary his most important work or very important work the diary and he covered the uh, years 1660 to 1669 so the account of these years we found in his work called the diary and what he covered in the diary he covered almost all events in daily life like you see what happens in office or many things whatever he saw there in the office he wrote on he wrote on the routine uh, of the people of his routine then he also wrote on gossip etc so if you look at this diary you will think that it is uh, it might be a cheap kind of work as the subject matter looks like that but it is not a cheap kind of work it is one of the very important work in english literature because you find uh, many things in this work you can understand the culture at that time what kind of culture flourished there in the offices government offices in restoration period you have a glance of restoration life through this diary and hence this diary becomes important so please remember the diary and the spam here you see 1660 to 1669 and uh, it is we can say that unfortunate that people discovered him many years later after his death he came to no public in the next century uh, and after his death and still we think that this diary is an important work in english literature so dear students these are all about the very important restoration writers butler hobbs lock evelyn and pepys if you have any problem any query you can directly comment below in the comment section i will answer to your query your problem so dear students i also need your response on this new method of whiteboard and marker pen please uh, leave your response in the comment section so that i can understand your opinions and go in the next direction so thank you very much for watching this complete video please like this channel like this video share this video among your friends subscribe to literature simply and don't forget to press the bell notification icon thank you very much let's meet in the next video